can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the homepage and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the homepage and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. Thank you, thank you, Frank. Thank you. I know what you're waiting for. You want to know what is the Lord saying about 2017? You really want to know? Oh, blessed Lord Jesus, how great thou art, how great thou art, thou, thou art awesome, awesome and wonderful, precious to us. Thank you, Lord. 
Amen. Legona al rezale actredigos to jod. Ligarando gazes de raigas tradilos. Parondo zogos de paracta ar alagistas. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. What is 2017? Are you ready? You know, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love what the Lord said. I love it. And so powerful. So powerful. So powerful. I know you're saying, tell us, just give it out. Somehow, I'm sure that many of you would have already received the signal. Am I right? A lot of you already have it inside you. Because the Holy Spirit's been witnessing in your spirit as to what it is. La Grondos gave Alessastus. Turning to your Bible now. Psalm 92. I think I'm hearing something like, I said it. <laughs> I said it. Oh, I said it. Did you? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Psalm 92, and we are reading from verse 1. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, has made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works. And thy thoughts are very deep. That means very profound. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, at most high forevermore. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. My eye also shall see my desire and my enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. To show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock. And there is no unrighteousness in him. Two thousand. And 17 is the year 
are flourishing. Hallelujah. Can I can I have this other microphone on now, please? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you. Sit down for a second. Can you sit down for a second, please? Now listen. Be calm. Sit down so that you can hear this. You give your... I know you all want to give offerings. But you need to hear the rest of it, then you can give your offering, okay? So go back to your seats. Go back to your seats. Relax. It's important, you see, the message is not just the title. You, you've, you have heard the title, but you need to hear the rest of it. Okay? This is so important. It's so important. You see, uh, when we say the message of the year, I've told you before, we're not just talking about the title. It's not a title, it's not a topic. It's much more than that. It's an insight into what the Lord is doing with us, through us, and for us in the year. It's His direction. And that's why it's so important. There are people who don't care about that. It doesn't mean anything to them, but it does mean a lot to us. It does mean a lot to us because God gave the moon, the sun, the stars to set and regulate times and seasons in the earth. Times and seasons don't exist in heaven, they're in the earth. They help us, like the psalmist said, teach us to number our days. That means teach us to account. It's an accounting word. That means to schedule our days, to plan our days. So, good planning is important. Hallelujah. Number one. In letting you understand this, what I'm saying is it's, it's, it's a year of flourishing. Okay? Flourishing. The three key things that are important to this. The first one is luxuriant growth. Luxuriant growth. And notice it says, they shall flourish like the palm tree. What's so special about the palm tree? It's the way it grows. The palm tree doesn't have recognition of, weather, of the seasons. It thrives, whether it's dry season or it's rainy season, doesn't care, it just keeps growing. Its leaves are evergreen. And the different types of palm trees. The different types, different species. And generally, they can grow very tall. Some of them get as far as 200 feet tall. That's amazing. A 
And whether it's rain or shine, they thrive. He says, you're going to flourish like the palm tree and grow like the cedar in Lebanon. Luxuriant growth. You're just going to grow like, my goodness, what's happening? <laughs> Hallelujah. Growing. You see, they're spreading. And, and interestingly, one of the rare synonyms of flourishing in the Hebrew word is spreading. Which means the spreading continues. <laughs> the spreading continues. And then, not only do you grow laterally like that, you go upward as well. What's that telling us? Something beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It is the year of luxuriant growth. That's number one. Number two, it is the year of significant attainments. Significant attainments. Like that palm tree that reaches high heights. It attains to high heights. Get ready for significant attainments. God wants to do marvelous things. I said, great things are about to happen. Great things are about to happen. Significant attainments. Not just attainments, but significant. Wonderful. Number three. So the first one is what? My year of luxuriant growth. Number two, my year of what? Significant attainment. Nothing will stop me. That thing doesn't exist. Number three. It is my year, your year of persistent productivity. The weather doesn't count. The economy doesn't count. The country doesn't count. Are you still there? So what are the three? Number one, what? Luxurious growth. Luxurious growth. My goodness. I'm growing big time. <laughs> Number two. Significant attainment. Significant. News making attainment. Significant. Significant. And number three. Persistent productivity. Persistent productivity. So mightily grew the word of God. And prevailed. Persistent productivity. Now. What does God want you to do? Very simple. You know, last year, I told you, isn't it amazing 2016 is last year? It's gone forever. It's now called last year. Amazing. <laughs> I told you that you would have to speak in tongues like never before. Speaking in tongues is so important. All right? It is so important. But I'm going to tell you something you're going to add to that. You've got to speak in tongues like never before. I've got to tell you this. Too important. He says, this is the refreshing. Where which he may cause the weary 
the rest. Hallelujah. And Peter called it times of refreshing. But it's more than the refreshing. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. And we'll read the Amplified Translation. Yes, God is for me. I love it. Thank you, Frank. Verse number four. Verse four, Amplified Version of First Corinthians chapter 14. You got it? Let's read. Read it again. He who speaks in a strange tongue. That's the tongues when we speak in tongues. Edifies and improves himself. You want to improve yourself? Speak in tongues. When you speak in tongues, you become sensitive to the things of the Spirit. You know, there's some people who say, well, I don't know when God is talking to me. Speak in tongues. Your spirit becomes sensitive. Sensitive to God. Sensitive to spiritual realities. Sensitive to the spiritual realm. By speaking in tongues often. Speaking in tongues a lot. Your spirit will become sensitive to spiritual realities. He says, he who speaks in a strange tongue edifies and improves himself. So this year you're going to what? Speaking tongues more than ever. Edify your spirit. Improve yourself. Turn to the book of Jude. Verse 20. Still amplified version. I want you to notice this. You'd love it. Read it for me. One, two, go. Did you see that? He says, but you, beloved, build yourselves up, founded on your most holy faith, make progress, rise like an edifice, higher and higher, praying in the Holy Spirit. Build yourselves up. Founded on your most holy faith. What do you mean by most holy faith? Your most holy faith means your most sanctified faith. What does that mean? In our lives, at different times, we have done certain things as an act of faith. Sometimes your faith was not very high. Okay? You did some things and sometimes your faith was really high. And it did some extraordinary things. Now, your highest faith that you ever expressed, God is saying, hey, build on that. That's your most, most sanctified faith. That means the faith that had no doubts around it. It had nothing like fear coming close to it. It was your highest, purest faith. That was your best expression of your faith. He says, build on that. Don't build on the lower one. Build on the higher one. Build on your most holy faith. How do you do it? Praying in the Holy Ghost. Through praying in the Spirit, you become, not only, not only do you have sensitivity of the Spirit, what happens is, your faith is purified. Your faith is purified. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. So, praying in tongues is important. 
I mean, why was Paul so successful? Why was he so successful? Simple. First Corinthians chapter 14. Go to verse 18. You can use the King James now. Everybody's got King James. This is a simple one. doesn't need to be broken down. This is what Paul said. Look at Read that for me. What does it say? It says, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than you all. I mean, he had the boldness to tell that church, I speak with tongues more than all of you. It just tells us how much this man spoke in tongues. No wonder he was so successful. If you will speak in tongues, nothing will stop you. You'll be building your spirit strong if you will speak in tongues. Are you hearing me? So don't play uh, light on speaking in tongues. Some Christians say it's not important. Well, they don't want to have a successful life. They say, oh no, it's not so important to you if you, you can speak in tongues sometimes. Well, if it is sometimes, look at, did you, did you read what we just saw? He says, I thank my God. I speak with tongues more than you all. Glory to God. No wonder he was so successful. You want to be very successful? 2017 is yours. It's your year of flourishing. Flourish with tongues. Flourish with tongues. Speak with tongues. He said, if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays. You see that? So it's not your head. It's your spirit that's praying. When you speak with tongues. Now, there's more. So, that's about tongues. You're going to have to do that more than even last year. Because I told you that was very important for last year. Here's what you're going to add to it. And this is so important. Don't miss it. You need it. As you journey on your way in 2017. You're going to need this. You're going to need this. I want to show you something. It's so powerful, so important. Book of Hebrews chapter number 11. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. You're still there? Great. Let's read from verse 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it, by what? By faith. He's talking about faith. For by faith, the elders obtained a good report. It wasn't anything else. It was faith. They obtained a good report by faith, by the acts of faith. Now, here's the big thing. Verse 3. Read it one to go. Hmm. Oh, boy. He says, through faith, we understand that the words... We're framed by the word of God. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. What is he saying? Through faith we understand that the words. Now, the Greek word that's translated words there is aeon. It refers to your cause of life. How things go with you. For your life. The direction of your life. The things that are going to happen with you. And for you. And about you. And then also. About your world. The world as it is. In its systems. And direction. The different eras. When you say the life and times of Mr. So and so. That's Aeon. Mr. John's Aeon refers to his life and times. 
the era of the Roman emperors, how they lived and what they did, an era, a period of time and the things that happened at that time, how were they fixed? Now look at this. It says, through faith we understand that the words were framed. The word, the Greek word there is katatizo. It means to mend. It means to fix. It means to set in order. It means to arrange. It means to frame. The words were framed. The aeons were framed by the word of God. Now, here is something that's significant. What is translated word there is rima, which is different from logos. Now, let me remind you, in St. John's Gospel, when you read chapter 1 from verse 1, it says, In the beginning was the word. There he's talking about the logos of God. And the word, the logos, was with God, and the logos was God. Now, the logos of God became flesh. That's Jesus. But now, what we're reading here in Hebrews is not talking about the logos of God. It's the word is Rema. And Rema is the word which God speaks. But he never addresses it directly to things. He addresses his word. The rhema, like Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. That's the rhema of God. When God gives his word to his prophets, he's giving them rhema. When God speaks his word to your heart, he's giving you what? Rhema. So, it's not rhema that created the word. The logos of God created the world. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the word was God. Okay. Then it says all things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. The logos of God made all things. But this is not talking about all things. This is not talking about the creation of the world. It's talking about your life. How things go with you. It's talking about your world. How things work around you and about the things that concern you and your city your life and times so look at I want you to look at something from verse 1 he says faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen in verse 2 he says what by it the air that's obtained a good report he isn't talking about God he's talking about the air that's then he goes to verse 4. Go to verse 4. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. And this goes on talking about the great elders of the faith. What they did with their faith. So here in verse 3, he says, Through faith we understand that the words, the aeons, the eras, the various eras that he's going to be talking about. He says they were framed by the rhema of God. Which means these men of God had the rhema of God. And they framed their words. With rhema. The word of God from their mouths. The word which they received from God by their spirits. And they spoke that word out. And corrected their times. Are you listening to me? I said, the only thing that is not under your charge is the life of another human being. That's all that is not within our control. God doesn't give me control over your life. But everything else that concerns me, I have control. But you see, you've got to grow your faith because faith is so important. There are too many people who play down on faith. And yet the Bible says, without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Faith is important. You've got to use it. It says, by it the elders obtained a good report. 
So it's through faith we understand that the words were framed. You're going to have to frame your future. Frame your word. Frame your word. How 2017 will be the year of flourishing for you is in your mouth. He has given it to you, which means that God's decision is that this year should be your year of flourishing. How are you going to make it happen? It's in your mouth. It's right there. Now we have released the rhema. The rhema has come out. 2017 is a year of flourishing. That word has come out because we received the rhema from God. And now we've spoken it into our lives and into our future. The rest of 2017 must comply. <laughs> Glory to God. It's got to comply. And hear this. We are, we are moving. This 2017 sets us into a new phase of the battle of the ages. Remember, we are engaged in a warfare. Don't forget that. The Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Take unto you the whole armor of God. We're engaged in a warfare. But we're on the winning side. We are on the winning side. I mean, think about it. None of those in our family tree ever failed. None of them failed. Think about it. Not one of them failed. Some of them made mistakes, but they didn't fail. They they got up and kept running. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, Solomon, and the prophets, Elisha, Elijah. I mean, think about all of this. Think about those wonderful kings, Jehoshaphat, Asa. Wonderful. Marvelous stories. I wish I had enough time to talk to you about this. It's, it's a beautiful thing that the Lord is doing. In our day. 2017 is ushering in something. There there are not too many times. In in the uh, calendar of God. Where things in the spirit. Sync with things in the earth. There are not too many times. But every once in a while. It happens. And this is one of those times. Where we are entering a new phase. And in this new phase. Tremendous things are going to happen. Let me help you get this. You know the Bible says, where sin did abound, grace did much more abound. We are seeing some of the most wicked, atrocious acts that man ever comprehended in our day. Think of some of the most terrible things that we're hearing coming out of uh, Iraq and and, 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 uh, uh, Syria by ISIS. I mean, the the, the acts of ISIS became so wicked that even Al-Qaeda distanced themselves from ISIS. Can you imagine that? They they had to distance themselves. Al-Qaeda, as bad as they were said to be, they distanced themselves from ISIS. The the wickedness was too much. But I want to tell you something. Satan is not more wicked than God is gracious. Did you hear what I said? Satan is not more wicked than God is gracious. If Satan can go this much in wickedness, God goes higher in his grace. Where sin did abound, grace did much more abound. God's grace is greater than Satan's wickedness. And because 
the iniquity of man has so increased. You know, Jesus said, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall grow cold. What is happening in the realm of the spirit right now is there are angels that the Lord has dispatched. They are more fierce than the demons that are using those people. And because man has become so ruthless in his wickedness and evil, God also has decided to throw away the limits in his pursuit of souls. Something is happening. He says, it is not by might, it is not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. So we're about to see the move of the Holy Ghost like never before. You are going to love the word of God like you never thought possible. You're going to be so much in love with Jesus. You're going to love the words. God's people are going to be passionate about Christ, about the Holy Ghost, about the written words more than ever before. There's going to come a hunger for the things of God like you never knew before. You're going to be on your bed and you're just going to be dreaming about the Lord. Just loving Him. Just being passionate about Him. There are many websites today that are used in insulting Christians. Many of those people are going to turn to Christ. And many of those websites will change their function and begin to preach Jesus Christ. You will see it is about to happen. The Holy Ghost is about to knock down certain people into Christ. Like he knocked Saul of Tarsus. He was making havoc of the church. But the Holy Ghost went after him. There's a move of the Spirit that's taking place. Satan can't stand it. He can't stand it. Because you see, the Word of God is in our mouths. And we are speaking like never before. He said, in the last days, said God, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. The old men shall dream dreams. And the young men shall see visions. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost is working in us. I mean, something's been happening with me in the last uh, four years. And it just, I, I thought maybe it would soon stop. No, but it just kept on increasing. You know, the, the, the power, the fire of God's spirit that works through my being. When I start praying, sometimes when I'm just meditating, there's like currents of electricity just going through my being. You know, there was a time it used to be on my hand, but it, it, it's gone past that since. It's just all through my body. And a lot of times I say, Lord Jesus, it's so much. It's so much. But I become, you know, so accustomed to it. it it's, it's always happening. It's always happening. And I'm, I'm thinking, what is this? What is this going to mean? What is, what is this going to mean? When more and more people understand the move of the Spirit of God. So that you can understand we are not ordinary beings. We are the living tabernacles of a living Christ. Of a living God. He is not dead. He's alive. And he lives in every one of us. We're not ordinary people. Hallelujah. No wonder he says count it all joy when you go through diverse tests. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Tell somebody, count it all joy. Luxury and growth. My, my, my. Mm. Significant attainment. Persistent productivity. <laughs> now, look what has happened with us in the last few years, and then just think, think about just this year. It's amazing. Did, did you watch? Did you watch that video? How was it? Touching, right? Inspiring. Those things cannot happen by man. 
only by God. And now, much more will take place. Much more. Look at little children speaking in tongues. Can you, can you think about it? It's amazing what's going on. No, Jesus never asked us to preach the gospel with words only. No, he gave us power. He gave us power. And before the king comes back, before the Lord comes back, we will shake this world. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will shake this world. They haven't seen anything yet. You can't beat us. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. See, we're already shaking the world. But it's going to be much more than this. And we are, we are getting more and more buoyant. Satan is angry and mad, but he can't do squat about it. Can't do anything about it. And we're getting richer and richer and richer. He can get as mad as he wants to. Can't do anything about it. Why? Because the gospel of Jesus Christ must be preached. He says, through prosperity shall my cities be spread abroad. Hallelujah. I mean, if you're going to send Rhapsody of Realities to the whole world, not take some money. You got to have some money. It takes money to do that. It takes money to do that. Boy, you are going to be so wealthy. Nothing will stop you. Mm -mm. See, someone who doesn't want to become wealthy and powerful shouldn't listen to me. Because if you listen... This message, this message will cause you to prosper. So if you don't like prosperity, don't listen to me. Because it's going to make you prosper, it's going to make you rich, big, influential, and powerful. Because the word of God is moving through us. Coming with power. With fire. <laughs> Hear this. Remember, I told you some years ago, the Lord said to me, I have given you a message that must be heard. That's what he said. A message that must be heard. That means there are not enough barriers in the world to stop it. It is impossible to stop it. You can't stop it. He said, I have given you a message that must be heard. And he said, and I will not leave you. Till I fulfilled everything that I've spoken to you about. Glory to God. So I know who I am. Hallelujah. Oh boy. So much to talk about. So in the churches, we're going to be sharing the word of God with you. Make sure you're in church. Make sure you're in church in the morning. Communion is going to take place in the morning. So make sure you're in church. All right. Special New Year communion. So don't miss it, all of you. Don't miss it at all. Communion service in the morning. Morning service. So don't miss that one. And, and guess what? Oh, boy. did you see Pastor Benny Hinn in the in the video? Did you see him? He's wonderful. How many of you are here for the M H I S? Many of you attend. And guess what? Ministers, listen. He will be here in February. So, don't forget February 9th, 10th, and 11th. And then, Ghana, 
will be in Ghana. Pastor Ben is coming to Ghana 13th and 14th of February. So that's going to be wonderful. So we're here 19th and 11th. And then we're in Ghana 13th and 14th. And, and guess what? Even tonight, he's actually, he said to me, he said, Pastor Chris, I'm going to be watching you tonight. And, and they're carrying, they're carrying this service live. So Pastor Benny, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. Thank you. Wonderful. 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 Well, 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 well. You can watch and listen to great and powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now. powerful messages from different men and women of God, preachers, prophets, teachers from all around the world on www.anointedtube.com. Hey there, this is Anointed Tube. Anointed Tube is blessing and changing lives around the world. We are a data hive of videos by preachers, gospel ministers, motivational and financial speakers from around the world. We need your help and monthly donation by clicking on the donate subscription button on the home page and also on the video page. You choose the amount you want to donate monthly. Nothing is too small or too big. We are targeting 5,000 people to subscribe now and we need your help. It is remarkably easy to navigate on the site. Simply click on the photos of any preachers of your choice in Africa, America or elsewhere shown at the top of the site. Scroll down to see the preachers pictures. Click on any of the pictures to start watching and catching up with videos from your favorite ministers. Videos can be shared on all social media platforms. We need your help now.